Hey, this is Matt with Two Feet Two Worlds, and today we're gonna check out my new e-tricycle. It's made by Jean Peng, which is a brand here in China. I'm gonna show you some of the quirks and features that are on the tricycle. I'm going to also tell you what I like and I don't like about it. All right, so you can see here, it's got some storage on the front. It's got a little bike rack, a basket right there in the front. And also if I go to the back here, it has another basket that's quite larger. You can store quite a few things in there as well. In the back, there's actually more storage. You just lift up the gate here and you unlock the seat here. And you lift up the seat. And it's actually like a little flatbed truck. There's plenty of room to carry stuff. I actually went down to the plant store to buy some plants and I was able to put all the plants in the back that I needed and carry it back to the house with no problem. It's more than enough room for me, my wife, and my son to go to the supermarket, buy the things we need, put the stuff in the back, and then put the seat back and drive home normally. Here's the driver's seat. Under the driver's seat there is a battery system. We got the bigger battery, it's a 65 volt uh, battery system. I believe it's supposed to go 65 kilometers. I haven't tested the full range yet, but I've been able to go to town and back at least four times. There and back, that's about 56 kilometers. So I think it's pretty accurate to say I can get about 65 or maybe even more, who knows, uh, kilometers with this. The light on the front is bright enough for nighttime driving. I tested it out the other night. So that's good. It doesn't have much of a gauge cluster. You can see here, it just tells you how much charge is left. I don't even know how fast I'm going. Over here, we do have an emergency light, turn signal and the horn, and also a switch to turn the light on and off. I've turned on the turn signal. This is what it sounds like. So there's adequate lighting in the front to tell there's turning going on and also a noise and also a turn signal in the back on the side here there is an e-brake uh, you can use it as an e-brake you can also use it when you park the bike it's got very simple spring shocks in the back on both wheels and then in the front there is this split junction system kind of like on a bicycle like a mountain bike hydraulic all three wheels do have a brake system as well, which is very helpful. All right, so some of the things I do like about the bike are its range, uh, how fast it goes. It's not too fast to where you can't stop. Uh, I like to go fast and having kind of a limit on that uh, doesn't give you this false sense of safety or security with the bike. Uh, it allows you to stop quick enough. I also like the price point. We got this bike for around 4,300 yuan, which is basically $615. That's pretty cheap considering many of these bikes, if you were to get them in the States, can cost $1,000, $2,000, depending on what you get. E-bikes in China are pretty cheap, and that's definitely a plus. A big positive for this bike is I can buy aftermarket parts for it, like a sunshade, a rain cover, stuff to keep us uh, out of the elements, as well as new parts like the armrests, which I'll get to in a second. Some of the things I don't like about the bike are some of the parts feel cheap and that's, that's pretty normal. Uh, it's not like, it's not a Mercedes Benz. One of the parts that is extremely flimsy is the armrest. Uh, the armrests on this bike are pretty horrible. Things are loose in the armrest and if I try to tighten it, the screw pops through the actual armrest. Also, I'm not the biggest fan on the size of it, but I was willing to make compromises with the size because of the size of my family and also because it has a truck bed in the back. It's actually smaller than some I was thinking about getting and larger than ones that didn't have a truck bed. So I was willing to compromise on that. Another negative is the brand. I have no clue about this brand, whether it's a good brand, whether it's a bad brand. So. Uh, as with a lot of things in China or that are Chinese made, you don't know the quality. I'll probably give an update uh, three to six months down the road for those of you who maybe want to wait or are thinking about purchasing it and don't want to bite the bullet on this brand or similar kind of bikes. Uh, that way you can know how mine is holding up. 
I would definitely recommend this bike, but as with anything that you buy, especially a big purchase like this, I would go to the dealership and test it out. Make sure that it fits your needs, make sure it has everything you want, and you can actually negotiate the price. We negotiated this down uh, quite a few uh, dollars and got it to a price point that we were comfortable with for the bike that we wanted. So. I hope you enjoyed this video today. I took about a month off from making videos. It was a much needed rest from YouTube and I'm back. So hopefully I'll be making some more uh, videos pretty consistently here. Uh, if you like this review, please go check out my other review of a bathtub, a foldable bathtub. If you don't have a bathtub in your Chinese house, uh, in your house that you're living in now, then please go check out that review as well. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure.